the Cartesian Coordinate System, a Chapter 12 podcast done by Chiron Kang of 1B. Hi, today I'm going to tell you more about the Cartesian Coordinate System and a little bit of history behind it. Then I will tell you about the parts of the Cartesian Coordinate System and how to find po- coordinates and locate points. Finally, I will teach you how to draw a Cartesian plane. The Cartesian Coordinate System It is also known as the Rectangular Coordinate System and it can describe the positions of points and lines in a plane. It can help us solve algebra and geometry problems. Here's a little bit of history. René Descartes was trying to describe the position of a fly on the ceiling. How would you do that? Well, for René, he came up with the Cartesian coordinate system. Here are the main parts of Cartesian coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system is made of a horizontal and vertical number line, which are the x and y axis. The point of intersection between the axes are known as, is known as the origin and is denoted by the letter O. There are four quadrants in the Cartesian coordinate system. The first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. To help you remember better, take note that the quadrants come in a counterclockwise direction. This is known as the Cartesian plane or the rectangular coordinate plane. Now that you know this is a Cartesian plane, how do you go about describing the position of the fly? Firstly, you can mark the you can mark the point with an X. Then you can label the point with a letter. In this case, it is P. Extend the horizontal and vertical line from crossing P and intersecting the X axis and the Y axis. The point of intersection on the X axis is A and Z on the Y axis is B. To find the value of A, you can start counting from the origin towards A. In this case, it is 4. To find the value of B, start counting from the origin and count. In this case, it is 2. A is known as the X coordinate and B is known as the Y coordinate. The coordinates of P is equal to A, B, which is the X coordinate then the Y coordinate. If we substitute the A and B, we get 4, 2. So this is how you find the coordinates of a point. Let's try that again. Now the fly is a different position. We mark the point with an X and we label the point. We extend the horizontal and vertical dotted line. Remember that the X coordinate X coordinate is A and the Y coordinate is B. We start counting the X coordinate. So the X coordinate is equals to negative 3. Then we start counting the Y coordinate. The Y coordinate is negative 3. Since the coordinates of P is equal to A comma B, it's also equal to negative 3 comma negative 3. Now, let's say you only have the coordinates. Can you find the position of the point? Well, it's rather simple. You can just do the reverse of finding the coordinates. Remember that the X coordinate is 5 and the Y coordinate is 3. So, to find the X coordinate, start from the origin and count 5. We do the same for the Y coordinate. Start from the origin and count 3. Then extend your horizontal and vertical dotted line. The point where the dotted line intersect is your point, which is P. So it's rather simple. Let's try that again. The coordinates of P is equal to 4, 
comma two. So we start by finding the x coordinate. Since the x coordinate is four, we mark it there. Then we find the y coordinate. Then we extend the horizontal and vertical dotted line. We mark the intersection, and there's our p. Here's an interesting point to take note of. See that the x, the value of the x coordinate is positive, and the value of the y coordinate is positive in the first quadrant. You can see the patterns in the second, third, and fourth quadrants. This is useful to help you check your answers in an exam. Now let's learn how to draw a Cartesian plane. First, use your graph paper. You can you will notice that it's made out of grids. Then, draw a horizontal and vertical line. These are your x and y axes. Note that the ends of the axes are marked with an arrowhead. Then label the x and y on your axis. After drawing your writing in your numbers, this is how your number line should look like. Then mark your origin. Here's an important thing to note. The interval between each unit must be equal throughout the whole number line. In this example, the interval is 1 and it's equal throughout the whole number line. This also applies for the y-axis. Do note that the, y the interval of the y-axis need not be equal to the interval of the x-axis. After that, you must write in your scale. This shows how much one unit is equals to how many centimeters in the Cartesian plane. In this case, one unit is equals to one cm in the Cartesian plane. Your scale can be different also, like in the second example. After that, you can start drawing in your points. Or you can start identifying where your points are. Okay, here's a recap on what you have learned. The coordinates of a point is equals to a comma b, where a is the x coordinate and b is the y coordinate. Here are the important parts of a Cartesian plane: the x and the y axis. Remember they are their ends are marked with an arrowhead. The origin and the scale. Remember, the intervals in the scale must be equal. This is the end of the podcast. Thank you for watching.